Well, next month, people across the United States, and especially here in North Texas, will see the moon slowly move in front of the sun, briefly turning day into night. NASA mission scientist Nicolene Vile joins me this morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so I was at Kroger yesterday. I saw the little end cap with the eclipse glasses, picked up several <laughs> for my family. I know you guys are so excited about this eclipse, but I, I'm always noticing that the first thing you always say is do it safely. That's right. Yeah, never look directly at the sun. There are several safe ways, though, to view the eclipse. Uh, the first is with solar viewers or eclipse glasses. Uh, these are special glasses that have a special filter across the front that make it safe to view the sun directly. Um, and so you can view the partial phases of the eclipse with those just fine. Um, the other thing is that if you're in the path of totality, when the moon totally blocks out the main body of the sun, then it is safe to look directly at that phase of the eclipse because the moon has blocked out the main body of the sun and you'll just see the wispy uh, corona around around the moon. The other way that you can safely view the partial phases of the eclipse is indirectly with a pinhole projector, such as this pinhole projector by NASA's Punch mission. Uh, you have the sun at your back and you let the sunlight project through the pinhole and an image of the partial eclipse will then project down on the ground in front of you. And then you can see the, the crescent shape as the moon comes between us and the sun. Yeah, I actually remember doing that in elementary school. So yeah, that's a really good way to do it. So I remember covering the eclipse that we had in 2017. Talk a little bit about how this one will be different. Yeah, so this one's going to be different than the one in 2017 for a few different reasons. The first is that the path of totality, when the moon will totally block out the main body of the sun, that path uh, is going over more population. So more people live in the total, the path of totality, which means they can just step out their front door to see the total solar eclipse. The second thing is the path uh, of totality is such that the totality is actually going to last longer. So it's going to be over four minutes in some areas where it was only about two minutes in 2017. Right, right. And the third thing is that the corona itself, the atmosphere of the sun, is more magnetically active right now. So the corona is going to appear different. It's going to have more magnetic activity and more complexity. So I know a lot of people, uh, you know, the average folks are going to be watching this, of course. Scientists are really going to be watching this closely and, and studying it. What are they looking for? Yeah, we're so excited. Um, so I study the corona, so I am so excited to actually get to see the corona, the atmosphere of the sun, the part of the sun that you get to see during totality. Um, other scientists are going to be doing experiments. For example, we have a jet flying. NASA has a jet flying that's going to uh, extend basically the phase of totality by following that and measuring the corona. We're also looking at how the sun um, impacts Earth's atmosphere and how Earth's atmosphere reacts to that decrease in light from the eclipse. Well, uh, one of the things I heard yesterday, too, was, uh, you know, somebody said, well, what about those nocturnal animals? Uh, you know, the, the impact of the eclipse on wildlife. Will it impact wildlife? Absolutely. So it will get dark and it will get cold as the moon blocks out the sunlight and it's going to feel like dusk and the animals feel that too. And so they will start to behave as though it's nighttime. And so you'll hear different sounds and you'll see different movement from those animals. Well, and I, I think the other interesting part of this too is uh, everybody's being encouraged to watch this eclipse because none of us will be alive when the next one happens. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the next one will happen in about 20 years across the United States. Now, there's an eclipse somewhere on, on the Earth every 18 months, but the next one over the United States will be in 20 years. Oh, well, I thought that was uh, 300 years or something. Maybe a total eclipse is what they're talking about. Oh, that, uh, maybe uh, be a total the next eclipse. one over North Texas, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just for us then. All right. <laughs> well, that's good. All right, NASA <laughs> mission scientist Nicolene Vile. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks. Okay, thanks.